Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media, Part 30, New Directions. In today's episode, we set out to work further with our animations. We wanted to connect what we call the charts, the scale charts, to the scale, uh, to the score, visually. And so we went in here and we did that. Um, what we did is we put some back panels down here. Boop, boop. These are the back panels. In fact, if we kind of hide this for a minute, you'll see what happens. We start. So that back panel is just pops out just big enough to see beyond the edges. So it gives a little pulse pulse on this chart. And then when you get to the middle of the scale, you'll see the pulsing there. So that worked. So And then we made a movie of that. Another key thing that we did in working with the animation is we worked further with the score. We updated the score quite a bit. We renamed it to New Directions. And we added, we had to add a new uh, left, center, and right pulse to it, which is easier to show you this way. this way. We were kind of hiding them. But you see now we have a left, basically we have a left pulse, center pulse, right pulse channel. And we just copied the, the main pulse down and, and, and separated them. And that was necessary so that uh, you can see this is being driven by the left pulse and this is being driven by the center pulse and this is being driven by the what is this? This is being driven by the right pulse. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening there. And what else did we do? What else did we do? We did a lot. So we added those panels. Then we went back and now that we have what we call the Starfield figure animation and we set it to work with the playlist and then we have the what we call the score figure animation uh, then we re-rendered both movies. We rendered both movies. So we have a score figures one that looks like this. And watch for the gray highlighting there. And then we in the middle, when we get to the middle, in here, here's the middle, look for the here. Oh, it already went over there too fast. Well, now it's highlighting on the right, highlighting on the right, and then here in the middle, so oh, this is really a fast little score. We'll get it. My God. There, in the middle. Anyway, thing moves so fast it's hard to keep track of. And we reanimated, uh, re-rendered that, and we all, this one we've re-rendered as well. And you see what's happening based on where it is in the score, either the left, middle, or the right are, are doing something visual. So then we got to thinking, wouldn't it be a cool idea to do a composite video of that? And that's what we were showing you a minute ago, where uh, we start playing it. And we've just started to put the timeline in here so we can figure out exactly and when we want to we want to flip back and forth between that and that. And the other cool thing we did to the score is we, we got to hide those things again because they kind of get in the way when you try to look at it. We just look at the backbone. Just look at the backbone. And this the continuous view is kind of handy. Yep. So we went through the backbone here and we labeled and we sub parsed them into figures. This is figure 01 and it sounds like this. Like that.
and it ends on a mode. It ends on the F, which or the neutral, I should say. And then other figures, uh, like this one in the minor, end on the mode. What is that? It's easier to hear if you don't have the rest of the stuff flying around. Then in the common figure, we divided those up. This these fig this ends on an urge note. We had to slow it down to thirty. And then anyway, we did that all the way through, and now we have a bunch of figures, and we made a little table of them here. And sometimes they end on neutral, sometimes they end on modes, and sometimes they end on urges. And that gives us a new palette to work with. We were saying it was like if you took RGB and reparsed them into CMYK, red, green, blue gets reparsed into cyan, magenta, yellow, black, then you work with those colors and compose something. And so what we figured doing is we're going to cut these up into bits and pieces, interleave them with each other, and you know come up with something that we hope sounds good. That's the plan. That is the plan. So those are our next steps. So what we'll do is we'll play some, play something, play something. We'll play the ending of uh, this, I guess. Are we going to play the ending of that? Sure. No, we'll just play part of this. We'll play this part. We'll play this. We'll, it's where we started because it was kind of fun because we can kind of manually go back and forth. And uh, even though we're playing it for you, we'll kind of remind ourselves, hmm, I wonder where we want to start. So we figured we would start with a star field and then there's going to be pulse marks like this all the way across. It's one one per second, you know, 60. Here we go. <laughs> So that concludes today's stream, and the ideas for next time are to interleave the star fields and the flying score movies in a composite movie, which we're on the way to, and then go back to the score and, and actually move sections of the score around to something that's pleasing. And we're thinking about balancing the lengths, because the left and the right are too long compared to the middle at the moment, while they feel too long. A resequence and restructure by ear, and there's other ideas. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>